with Mobile Geeks at CES 2014 with Samsung and what we have right here is the new Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4 so this is basically an 8.4 inch tablet with a WQXGA resolution of 2560 by 1600 on this only 8.4 inch big uh, display it's a super LCD screen that is decently bright we've set it a little bit lower to actually be able to film it in a good way um, it is super light it weighs in at just I think it's way under 300 or under 400 grams um, definitely has enough power because this is actually running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 it's got two gigs of RAM but the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 is only in the LTE version just as with the um, Samsung smartphones they are actually selling this with their Samsung Exynos 5425 octa-core uh, SOC for the 3G and the Wi-Fi versions this one is available with 16 or 32 gigs of uh, flash storage and you get an SD card slot, you get uh, decent cameras, which I'm going to show you in a second. They have, uh, what else, LTE, I mentioned that already. Uh, there's no stylus on this yet. This is, I think there's a high possibility that something would actually work on something like this, including a digitizer and a stylus. Um, but let's take a quick look around. Up here we have a two megapixel camera on the front. Then small bezels on the side on this device that actually copies the, or just takes a lot of design cues from the Galaxy Note, for example, the Galaxy Note 3, I mean. Down here we have the standard Samsung home button, including those capacitive, capacitive buttons. Um, on the sides, we have up here the power button. That's the volume rocker right there. This is actually an IR blaster. So if you're sitting on the sofa, you could actually re remote control your Samsung TV with this. Down here we have two speakers, so there's stereo speakers in here, plus a micro USB port. On the side, on the left side, we have a micro SD card slot. And so this doesn't seem to be the LTE or 3G version of this device. Up here, you only get the 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and that's pretty much it. Additionally, you get a eight megapixel camera on the back, including a LED flash. And as I said, they're taking lots of design cues from the Galaxy Note 3, including this plastic cover back here that actually feels a bit, bit like leather and has a really nice touch to it. The whole thing is just, uh, I think, 7.5 or 7.3 millimeters thick. And it's definitely a nice device. Depends, I don't actually know what the pricing is gonna be, but you get a super high resolution screen that's definitely worth it, including enough power, definitely enough power. And what they're doing is basically they added this magazine style UI, which looks kind of like Windows 8 a bit. This one is still buggy, so they're not, there's a tile missing down here. They're still working on it when it's gonna be released. It's based on Android 4.4. And what they've added is actually a multitasking feature where you can dock up to four apps on your screen. So let's move to landscape mode on this and try out docking the internet browser in this case and Let's add uh, the gallery right here. So that's like pretty much like the split screen mode on Windows 8, for example, but you can add up to four apps on this. So let's try the music app right here and see if that actually snaps. It's still a bit buggy. So in the end, you would end up with up to four uh, apps divided by this, these lines right here. And if you want to close one, you just hold this button right there and select close down here, and that should close in a second. See, so this way you can actually close stuff and navigate the device like this. So this has been Roland from Mobile Geeks with the new Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4, which is still a bit buggy as you can see, at CS 2014. Thank you. Yeah.